Hello all you loyal MFers and welcome back to Fight Night. We are in part one as we begin our Newark, New Jersey episode. Here at MFW we've got matches, debuts, rivalries continuing, and for the first time we're going to hear from some of our superstars as apparently we've been told one Matt Murdock, that's right, Daredevil, has something he wants to say, somebody he wants to talk to in the middle of that ring to kick us off here on Fight Night. It's rare that we kick off Fight Night in a way that isn't with fighting. But hey, gotta change things up a bit every once in a while, and if somebody wants to take the platform, we give them the mic. So let's kick things over to the ring as Mr. Murdock says what he wants to say. See Murdoch making his way to the ring. Curious who Daredevil wants to talk to, but we know that he did qualify for a Vigilante Championship match, so we have some idea who might be the target. Of course, he has been feuding with Punisher as well, so it could be either one. Given the state of Fight Night currently with this man, in the position he's in, I am very curious to hear what he exactly he has to say. I'm not going to come out here and yammer for 20 minutes about the state of MFW or management. I'm not going to complain about being overlooked and underappreciated. No, what I've got to say is real, real simple. Not entirely sure if that was passive-aggressive or not, but I suppose we'll find out in a minute. I've been hearing a lot of rumors recently, and frankly, I'm getting real tired of being someone's excuse for why things aren't going their way. Not entirely certain what he's referencing, uh, but I have to imagine the rumors going around have to be swirling about the title picture. I don't think this clown knew who he was dealing with. He's used to picking on people who either won't or can't fight back, but I've been fighting back from day one. Now it's time for me and Vanguard to throw down whether he's ready for it or not. There you have it, and now the man himself answers the call. Well, now we know, calling out the Vigilante Champion, the man he earned a title shot against, thanks to that six-man tag with the Defenders versus Punisher and Hydra. This unknown quantity known as Vanguard making his way to the ring, set to defend that title against Matt Murdock at Bulletproof, the upcoming pay-per-view. Gotta wonder what the champ has to say. We have no know nothing about this man. This will be the first time we hear him speak. Interesting to see exactly how he responds. I don't normally come out here and cause a ruckus on these shows. There's enough of that going around. Today... I'm feeling a little differently. I think I've been quiet long enough. Wait just one damn minute. Do you think that what you're about to say to me matters in any way to myself or the MFW multiverse? Not on your damn life, pal. Why don't you quit wasting our time and get the hell out of here? Strong words right out of the gate from the challenger. I should give your mother a call about this. She doesn't like when you act up. You know that annoying voice she does. Honey, what are you doing? Honey, stop at this instant. Yeah, I, I bet she's doing that right now as she sees you out here. 
I'm aware that Vanguard doesn't know necessarily about Matt Murdock's past, but touching on the parental subject might have been a mistake. Do you know what you need? A hobby. You know, something to pass the time and blow off some steam. Maybe you should collect stamps, get into model trains, start playing video games. Oh, wait, I know. Why don't you start counting ceiling lights because you're going to be looking at them real soon. Things escalating very quickly between these two before their matchup at the next pay-per-view. I'm going to make you my pet project because I, I see something of myself in you. I really do. At the same time, I feel like I, I failed you. I let you convince yourself that you're the man around here and I did nothing to separate you of that notion. That's on me. And it's my responsibility to set you straight by taking you on and taking you down. Um, I'm sorry, I, co I completely spaced out. Can you remind me who you are and why you're here again? Wait, wait, don't tell me. Uh, I did something you don't like and you want to do something about it. Or uh, are you coming from my spot? I, I don't know, I've heard it all before so many times that it kind of blends together. This conversation is beginning to devolve very rapidly here. I'm sorry, I know you were saying something, but I, I didn't hear a single word of it. I've been distracted. At it. I've been staring at this thing. It's this... I don't even know how to describe it. It's this weird little thing that's hanging off your head. It, it, it's right there between your forehead. Oh. Oh, man, that's your face. Oof. Wow. My bad. Safe to say civility has gone out the window for these two superstars. You don't get to where I am in MFW just by running your mouth. You'd know that if you had even a little bit of common sense. Since you don't, I'm not going to waste another second on you. Perhaps in another universe these two men could have been allies, friends, even, but something has started off on the wrong foot here. So this is what it's come to. MFW is overflowing with garbage like you, and I'm the one who's been called on to take out the trash. That's fine. I'm ready and willing to toss your ass on the trash heap of MFW history. Strong words from the challenger to the champion, making his presence felt and making his point known. He's coming for that title and he thinks very little of the man holding it around his waist, but we move on to in-ring competition in an interesting matchup that has been set up by director of Fight Night, Nick Fury. As you see, Arkham Knight making his way to the ring. He and Batman have, have been having some violent altercations over the recent episodes of Fight Night. But he has put them together in tag team action tonight. They'll be teaming to take on two debuting superstars, two men we have not seen in an MFW ring before. Members of the Fight Night roster looking to make an impact and they have a golden opportunity against a clearly divided front of Arkham Knight and this man, the billionaire vigilante Bruce Wayne aka Batman. Of course, Batman Fight Night's Omega level champion after defeating Deathstroke to qualify and then moving on to face Darkseid at the first ever MFW pay per view flashpoint with the assistance of Damian Wayne, aka Robin, in his corner. Batman managing to pick up a huge victory and go home with that title around his waist, preventing Darkseid from obtaining it. Some might question the methods, but then again, Darkseid got into that matchup after assaulting the Hulk on the inaugural episode of Fight Night backstage. Never made it out to the qualifying match, and he essentially cemented his spot by force. Regardless, it's not about dark side for Batman here tonight. It's about this tag team competition while still keeping an eye on his own partner. That being said, let's bring out their two opponents. 
two men who have had similar interests in the past that made them allies including a man we just saw in the ring speaking earlier daredevil bullseye and wilson fisk aka the kingpin these two men while not a an established duo like many of our tag teams a very effective one and one that has a history so no doubt they can easily work together if they have a common cause they're going up against the world's greatest detective and an armored nemesis who for lack of understatement I, I suppose can't understate myself enough when I say this just don't get along you see bullseye there bullseye somebody who has taken the life of Electra in the past has feuded with daredevil on many occasions but would many could consider a nemesis of daredevil this is a DC versus Marvel matchup if you will oh blind tag in to start not a great way to kick things off already not looking great <clears throat> you have to forgive my voice people allergies are a <laughs> Oh, Hurricane Rana on Wilson Fisk. Big man taken down with that impressive acrobatic maneuver. Oh, not quite scouting that move correctly. Cost him big time. The much larger Fisk, obviously using that size advantage and that strength advantage leveraging that vice grip into the shoulder Batman probably none too pleased about the way this match started ooh kick to the head caught him blind on the side of the face Arkham Knight seeming like he wants to do this on his own Seems to have no desire to tag in. Oh! Batman now returning the favor, blind tagging himself. Oh, he's clocked out. Quite literally looks like Arkham Knight clocking out of this match, walking away. Decked Batman after the blind tag. Just getting a taste of his own medicine, but apparently was having none of it. As now Batman is left to fend for himself against Wilson Fisk and Bullseye. And then, oh! Huge headbutt and a seemingly impossible set of odds. Not even a two count despite the headbutt. But I, I question the feasibility of victory here for Batman. Fisk has him up on the shoulders. Oh, wait a minute. Fighting out of it. Batman certainly hasn't given up on victory. Doing whatever he can to try and floor this behemoth. Oh, the obelisk of a man, this wall. Bullseye has not even gotten in this match. Has him around the throat. Show slam, but referee distracted by Bullseye. Batman in for the pin. Only a one count, not even. Broken up, and that's going to be the difficulty here now, is Batman has no one to back him up. And he has to go up against two individuals who can save one another. Oh, he's not going to pull this off. Oh my god, the power bomb. The raw strength you have to be able to call up to lift a man that size. Impressive from Batman. Combination of strikes. Leveling. Wilson Fiskin now going to the top rope. Shooting star press. Don't see that too often out of Bruce Wayne, but going for another choke slam, it looks like. Hand around the throat. Can he 
Can he get it? Yes, he does. That impressive power lands once again. One, two, three. Bullseye was too late. Bullseye never even got to tag into this matchup. Batman pulls out a seemingly impossible win in handicapped circumstances. And you got to think, Arkham Knight's probably kicking himself. Things didn't go exactly as he planned with that matchup. Champ standing in the ring, victorious, holding up that Omega level championship. Congratulations to... Oh. And here he is, the man who abandoned his partner. These two clearly not done. This can only escalate further as we move on to the last match of our first half of Fight Night. As we've seen recently, Magneto has been on a tear, has been taking on the biggest giants of the Fight Night roster. Apocalypse followed by Darkseid victorious against both. Had the Brotherhood by his side, but now he's saying he can do it without them at ringside. They haven't really been a factor in his victory, so he's saying he doesn't want them coming out to the ring for this one. He's been assigned to take on a new giant. He doesn't know who it is, but he has said definitively he will be victorious without question. And he's going to prove his stance on mutant supremacy further by picking up a victory over again, again excuse me over another seemingly unstoppable monster a little tongue tied there that's just how excited I am I know who his opponent is going to be promises to be a fairly brutal matchup then again we would have thought that about his previous two opponents and he felled them quite definitively however not bringing the Brotherhood to ringside could be uh, a sign of hubris that backfires on Magneto time will tell throughout this matchup if that is the case Magneto, obviously, leader of the Brotherhood. A staunch, radical activist for mutant rights. What better way to prove his stance on their supremacy than by defeating the toughest opponents on fight night? The strongest, the most seemingly unbeatable. Apocalypse and Darkseid fit that trend. Who else on the Fight Night roster could possibly fall into that category. Well, we're about to find out in a moment. And that roar beckons the third of the giant challenges for Magneto, the Incredible Hulk Bruce Banner. This big green monster not had the best run of luck thanks to Darkseid. After the assault, followed by a, an unfortunate Falls Count Anywhere match that saw him head first driven into the floor on the outside of the ring, looking to change things for himself by defeating Magneto here tonight. Magneto, on the other hand, looking to keep things exactly how they've been going with steady and definitive victories over his opponents. More to come, obviously, as well in part two of Fight Night. So make sure you don't miss it. More debuts. The rest of the Brotherhood will be in action. At least from the men's side. Ooh, big rib breaker. And our main event for the next episode... We'll see some rehashing between S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA. Exactly how? Well, we'll find out. As we get back to this Magneto Hulk matchup. Thus far, Magneto staying on top, keeping his promise to 
show his supremacy so far, but it's still too early to call, obviously. Ooh, big headbutt to the back of the neck. And as I say that, that is when Hulk turns things around. No, I'm not going to sing it this time. Can't always be singing like that, no matter how much I'm losing my mind. Oof! Big blow, European uppercut across the chest, but it's just not enough to even stagger the Hulk. And Magneto might have bitten off more than he can chew here. Big clothesline! Taking Hulk out of the ring, see him clutching the lower back. Magneto is up top. Big elbow across the skull. Remember to participate in the conversation. Leave some comments. Let us know what you think of these matches, the future matches you want to see, all the all the thoughts you have broiling about Warzone and Fight Night. Love to hear from you guys. Hit those likes if you're enjoying this. And of course, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. Always got new stuff coming out. You don't want to miss a thing. Pile driver on that targeted head of Hulk now. Hulk has been driven into the floor, into the hallway outside, backstage area with those anti lock pile drivers, and now a supremacy from Magneto. One, two, only a two count. As we were saying, the Hulk bit of a weak point now at this at this juncture has had his head driven into the floor on multiple occasions. Now an arm trapped cross faces, trying to get Hulk to submit. I think it's a difficult, tall task to ask for from the big green monsters to, to get him to, to quit in any fashion. Ooh, big punch to the face. Oh, went for a neck breaker and whiffed. And now, this massive Hulk trying to take advantage of that missed opportunity. Barreling in a Magneto full force with that large body of his. Setting up for the spear. Ooh, DDT to reverse it into a DDT. Not enough room to get momentum going behind that spear. Magneto managing to turn it to his advantage. As the impressive quick thinking of Magneto. But will it be enough to overcome the raw power of the Hulk? Thus far, not necessarily boding well for the leader of the Brotherhood. Into the pin early, probably not going to do it. Trying to wear down his opponent though. Or simply running on instinct as is possible for Hulk. Rolling out to the apron here. Oof, big right hand as Magneto goes up to the top yet again. Don't often see him go to the top turnbuckle this often. It seems he has another blow he wants to deliver. Oh, misses this time. Went to the well one too many times with that flying forearm. That elbow across the top of the head attempt. Oh, rake of the eyes into a punch. Flooring the Hulk. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Magneto could be setting up for a second supremacy. If he nails it, this could be it. Oh, in a second. This one's over. One, two. No, two and a half, maybe 2.9. Hulk kicks out. Hulk absolutely determined not to lose in this matchup. 
fighting back into things. Obviously, the longer this match goes on, the, the more dangerous the odds become for Magneto. It makes it so much harder for him to pick up a win. As we know, the stamina favors the big green monster. MFW's big green machine, if you will. We're not fighting on the outside here. Always a dangerous proposition. Oh, a power bomb! And now turning it into a Boston Crab. He's got him in a submission, but you can't. Submissions don't count here on the outside. Oh, Magneto tapped. I mean, that won't count. This is not a victory, but Magneto just tapped on the outside. That has to be noted. As the count continues here, he has to beat the count. No, Hulk getting back outside, not wanting to win by count out, but cannot stress enough that there will be a huge asterisk no matter what happens at the end of this matchup. Because while it did not count, we just saw visually Magneto tapping to that Boston Crab from Hulk. Oh, his Hulk has been busted open. Hulk made Magneto tap, and you know that's going to stick in the mind of the Brotherhood leader. I went to this cross face. The chicken wing cross face trying to get him to tap, and it's not enough. I'm still reeling because you know he's not going to let that go. Even if he does manage to pick up the victory somehow at this point, there will always be that asterisk of having tapped out to the Hulk. It has to be humiliating for somebody who made all the claims that he did before coming out to this match. Oh, wait a minute here. Could see a big coast to coast. Off the tree of woe! Hulk hit hard. This could be it. Into the pin. One, two, three, and there is your win. Magneto picks up a victory somehow, despite all odds. Despite tapping out on the outside, turned things around, managed to pick up a victory here. See a very bloodied Hulk rolling out of the ring. Wins a win, though. Uh, Thank you guys for joining us. Remember to come back for part two. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, come on. The match is over. You don't need to do this. Uh, obviously humiliated and embarrassed about tapping out to the Hulk on the outside of the ring and taking it out on the big green monster. And this is enough! We'll try to get you an update on his condition at part two, but for now, thanks for joining us. Have a good one.